Hi, well, good. This is Marashi and my channel Shaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me for this coming week. Where goes out there? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear? Just one more time. Where goes out there? Your first card is the lovers. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, there is some kind of a commitment you're waiting. Okay? You want uh, something to be initiated. Okay? This could be uh, regards to a job offer. You're waiting for an interview. Okay? You want somebody to offer you something, which is all about having this uh, commitment to happen. Okay, because there is an imbalance in the energy when I'm looking at the Six of Pentacles. One person is offering the others. Okay, these people are, um, you know, uh, kneeling down seems to be like beggars, paupers. They are extending the hand, wanting something. Okay, and this person is being generous and offering some coins to help them out. So in your situation, I feel like you want somebody to help you out with a situation. So you might have offered, uh, uh, sorry, applied for a job and you're waiting for uh, them to reach out for an interview. Okay? Or this could be a person whom you're waiting on to reach out to you. It's relationship-wise as well. Okay. Uh, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or probably a Taurus. Virgos out there. What else? What else, please? What goes out there? Hmm. Looking at the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups. All right. Uh, it seems like it is taking its own sweet time. Okay, whoever you're waiting upon to initiate is, is really taking its own sweet time. Whatever they have to offer is the Ace of Cups, which is... Yeah, abundant, which is brimming over. Something which you really want, which will bring you happiness. Okay? What was the other one? Yeah, high priestess. You feel like there is love. Okay, there is something in there. But this person is taking his own damn sweet time to reach out. Yeah, because this is the slowest uh, moving night in this deck. Okay, it knows its destination, but it's it's just uh, snail pace. Okay, very slow. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo, another Leo. Sorry, another Virgo person or a Leo energy. All right, Virgos, what is your next card, please? What is your next card, please? Wow. Uh, I'm looking at the Ace of Pentacles. And there is something about Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords. It is stressing you out. Okay? Contemplating whether this will eventually come through or not. Will that Ace of Cups, you know, will that person reach out to you or not? Will you get that opportunity? It is just stressing you out. Just thinking about it is stressing you out. It's, it's almost like you are at the crossroads. Okay? About this whole situation coming through or not. Am I just waiting for... Yeah. Just one second. Seven of Cups. Being very optimistic. You are just trying to contemplate. Am I... Is it really going to happen? Are they really going to reach out? Or is it just me with my head up in the clouds? Yeah? That kind of an optimism. See, you are trying to figure out what needs to be done. Because when I'm looking at this two of swords, you are having a blindfold around your eyes. So you can't figure things out. What is a reality and what is, you know, uh, you know, you wearing the rosy glasses. Rose tinted glasses, whatever. So uh, it's like, you know, it stresses you out. Just thinking, will it ever happen or not? Then you feel like it will come through. But then you're coming through as somebody who is uh, a little childish. 
Okay, with a spade of swords, who's um, kind of rebellious about what they want, but then you are trying to think it logically as well, and it stresses you out. Some of you might be losing your sleep over this whole situation. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpion, a Gemini, okay, a Libra. What was that, the card? All right, moving on. Yes, it's it's like. Seven of Cups or the Seven of Wands. Yeah, optimism. Should I hang in there? Should I defend this um, dream of mine? They will come through. They they are taking time, but they will come through. Or am I just, you know, too optimistic? All right, moving on. I hope you get the picture because all those cards were saying just just one thing about your confusion. All right, what goes out there? What else? Your next card is this one. All the confusion, but here you want to put things in balance. You're weighing things out. Trying to figure out what is actually happening. Ooh. With this uh, Eight of Cups, you might get disappointed. Okay? Because whatever you're waiting on might not be serving you. Because I see this person walking away. Because now you're like clear about it up here. You realize something is just not worth it. Because this person is disappointed they're walking away from it. So someone is having the clarity in regards to the situation. Regards to a situation you always wanted to happen, but then you know it was taking so much time. Now you're pretty much sure about you know exactly what is happening. Alright, some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Pisces. Moving on, where goes out there? What else? Your next card is this one. Just what I'm speaking about. Choices to make, blindfolded, cannot see through it yet, so contemplating at the moment. You're in the process of making that decision where you stand with this situation. Will this ever happen or not? Uh, same two cards, nine of swords. Losing your mind, make, trying to make that decision because you always wanted it. So that choice is going to be difficult to walk away. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you know exactly what needs to be done. Because high priestess, deep within, you're being guided. You already know your answer deep within. But it's difficult to make that decision. Because once you make that decision, it is completely over. So it's just a little difficult to accept it. Even though you know it deep within. Your higher self is guiding you what you need to do. But then. You, you did rather prefer to stall it. As long as you can. Alright. Moving on. Virgos out there. What else? What else please? Because this is what you always wanted. Just confirming what I just spoke about. You did rather, you know, stall it. Because this is your dream. This is, you know, this is what you always wanted to happen. Okay. You wanted to achieve this somehow. That is why you kept waiting. Okay. Yes. Because once upon a time, you might have had happy times, you know, happy memories or whatever. Uh, with this person or within, or within the situation, you had it. Okay? It is what you always wanted. But now things are not, you know, in a good place. You're not liking how things are right now. This is not there anymore. Some of you might be dealing with a scorpion. What goes out there? What else? Next card is this one. It's, it's just too much now. It is a burden 
Or it's, it's like a cross you're carrying on your back. Okay? Trying to have this, you know, hoping for having this back in your life is like a burden on your back. It is just weighing you down every step you take. But they're asking you to, you know, just weigh it out. You will know exactly what needs to be done. Where you stand with this. Will this happen or not? Because you have been waiting for them to come through. Okay, with that Knight of Pentacles. Yes. It is weighing you down because of the illusions. With this Moon card, things are, uh, you know, it's like there is a veil. You just don't want to, you know, look behind the wheel. You are willing to carry this burden as long as you can. That is a stalling energy which I spoke about. You're okay with um, ignoring what is the actual situation. You still feel like this is possible. All right, moving on. Okay, uh, some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Pisces. Moving on, Virgos out there, what else? Your next card is this one. Once you figure it out, when I'm looking at this Temperance card, once you figure out where you stand with this, you will know what exactly needs to be done. That is the Six of Swords. Pack your bags and leave. Leave it behind. Okay, earlier it came out with the Eight of Cups. Is asking you to move on. Again, Six of Swords is like, you know, pack your bags and just, you know, move on into your future. Again, let it be. What is not working, just let it be in your past. All right, some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius again. Uh, you know, you were emotionally invested into it. Okay, this whole situation working out. Okay, so it's not going to be, diff um, sorry, it's not going to be easy. Okay, it's going to be a challenge to do this, to let go, but you need to make the choice. Okay, make that decision already. Remove the blindfold and see through it. Okay. All right, uh, some of you might be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio. What is your last card where it goes out there? What is your last card, please? Ooh. You need to come through as a queen of swords. Okay? No excuses anymore. You need to see through the bullshit. Okay? You were playing around, you know, making that choice, trying to unsee or, you know, ignore the facts about where you stand within the situation about the possibility of this happening now you need to come through as a queen of swords okay she is very straightforward she might be the icy bitch okay the icy queen she she also has a heart but the thing is she knows what is the right thing to do she doesn't let her you know, heart take over, uh, her emotions take over her judgments. Okay? So it's about time to make that choice about what needs to be done. Okay? When I showed you the King of Cups, it definitely shows it's not going to be easy, okay? You are very emotionally invested into this. But that is... Uh, you know, that is not an excuse anymore. Yes, you need to come through as somebody who is strong. Know your worth. Okay, be determined about, you, you know, for your own sake. You need to take the step. Okay, high time to remove that blindfold. Because you are under some kind of an illusion. So they showed me the Seven of Cups earlier with that optimism. And now we have the Moon card, the illusions. See through it. Above time. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra or probably a Cancerian or a Leo. 
That's it for now. This is Marishi, Human Channel Shurika. Until next time, bye-bye.